I would like to thank the organizers for the invitation and uh, to wish every success to this event. The reform of the Common Agricultural Policy has not been going well. The proposal of the Commission was below expectations, below what we needed to reform a policy that we know for 20 years now has not been delivering, has this been described as a failure. We give half of our money of the budget of the EU to the Common Agricultural Policy and yet we have failed to deliver the services that our people and Europe needs. The vote in the, in the Parliament has even worse than things. It was really a shameful disaster. Why? Three issues. First, the rich once more won over the poor. 80% of, our, of, the Euro, of the funds going to our, to our common agricultural policy will be directed to the 20% of the people working in the agricultural sector. It's like giving unemployment benefit to the rich. Second, we continue to have the funding of the direct subsidies going directly to only the agricultural activities and based on the surface of the agricultural land, not as it should be other criteria like the employment. We are finding our farmers based on how big the surface they cultivate is, not how many people they employ. And we very well know that throughout Europe there is a lot of unregistered, unregistered employment in the agricultural sector. We needed to put these, these, these workers into the, the picture, to, to have them official in the system and to make sure that the money we spent in the common agricultural policy goes to sustain, to increase the labour positions, the employment in uh, rural Europe. This is what Europe so much needed now in this severe crisis, in this depth of European unemployment. At the same time, we continue to find not to give opportunities to the European youth to all these people that now with the crisis, in countries like my, my own country, like Greece, have been locked in the versus unemployment circle inside the cities. The Greek example is very uh, characteristic. We have a lot of people living in poverty, uh, often not having uh, to eat, children going to school without uh, having breakfast or lunch. And we have all these families, many of these families having land in the villages of their uh, grandfathers. Olive groves and uh, vineyards that they could go back and cultivate. And there is a tendency and there is a willing to do so. But as you know, they need, there is need for support, for better infrastructure in the rural areas, startup funds and so on. This support could only be designed and come from the second pillar. And this necessary support will not come because once more, 80% of the funds go to the direct subsidies and only 20% of the funds will go to the rural areas where we need to invest to keep the agricultural population there, active, creating good quality of, job, of, of products. And of course, you know the fellow for the greening of the cup. It is a victory of north over the south, a victory of the old over the new. And why is that? We have voted, unfortunately, to support that we don't change anything in our common agricultural policy. We voted for stability, not for reform. Stability on a policy that we know that has failed. 
we didn't give the opportunities to young people to turn to the agricultural sector that they do want. And we need this generation. As you will see in Pavlos' awarded documentary, it's this generation that gives us hope. It's this generation that can assure that we move to uh, agricultural uh, Europe with higher quality products, with higher distribution, with respect to the environment, provision of the services to the society. And this is what we fail to vote. And you, that are in this room and hearing this message, you have a responsibility for this. I will explain to you how this works in the European Parliament. During the vote, both in the Common Agricultural Committee and in the plenary, the Parliament was filled full with people representing the interests of the agricultural associations that wanted stability versus reform. We were, there were also some NGOs fighting for the greening, but they were not the voices of the people. The voices of the people were not heard. Instead, if we take another case, ACTA. ACTA was an agreement that we had imposed uh, stricter regulation on the internet and uh, stricter enforcement of property rights on the expense often of people. Then we had a massive, uh, massive inflow of emails from all over Europe. More than 100 every day to each member of the European Parliament asking to stand up and vote against ACTA. And the European Parliament stood up and voted against ACTA. On the common agricultural policy, where 50% of our budget goes, we didn't have this. We didn't have the emails coming from the people. We didn't have the demand to take a stance towards this or the other issue. Only some interest groups could, came in the parliament and mobilized. This was the big gap. Europe, the European citizens, did not take a stance on this issue. On the issue which is so severe, it touches upon all our policies and it touches upon the future of our rural areas. There is still time. As you know, the fact that the European Parliament is such a democratic instrument, institu institution, is exactly based on the fact that we have elections, direct elections for each and one of the members of the European Parliament every five years. The next is almost in one year. Your email, your talk to your MEP, your individual president can make a difference. Now we have decided on a very bad uh, report, a very bad proposal from the side of the European Parliament for the reform of the common agricultural policy. Based on a bad proposal from the Commission, and we know that we are going to have a bad outcome in the Council, write to us, ask us to vote against the final agreement, ask us to block the outcome of these negotiations and to go again to a vote in the, in the European Parliament for a second reading agreement that will lead to a fair uh, outcome, a fair reform for the common agricultural policy for the interest of the European citizens and Europe, for the interest of the agricultural areas and those young farmers that we see in this amazing documentary by Pavlos that are trying to change things. Let's help them. Let's make the change possible. Thank you.